Okay, we're ready. Okay. Okay, I'd like to call the meeting to order on this 19th day of August, 2020. The time is now 4.19. Um, present are Art Dice, Art, uh, Mark Grover, myself, Sandra Barnes, and Bill Legrone. President Pamela is, will be joining us shortly. She, she can hear the meeting. She is on speakerphone with me and I am in my office uh, by myself and, and she is uh, connected through the phone so she can hear everything. Yes, I hear. Yay. Um, at this point, we would like to invite public comment on closed session items via backpack. Andrew, do we have any submissions via backpack for closed session items? Yes, we do. Um, I'm going to read the first one, and then uh, Dr. Holtam will read the remainder. Um, so that came to us, and I'll read to you all the people that it came to us from, um, but it's a, a duplicate email. Um, but I'll read the email, then I'll read to you who it's all from. Um, and then Spencer has a few to read as well, some of which can contain the same duplicate language. Um, that he'll skip over, but he'll read their uh, the rest of their comments, uh, trying to uh, honor everybody's Brown Act ability to comment in public. Um, so here, here goes. Before closed session, I have noticed that all district personnel listed under agenda item seven are receiving the one-time 1 1.6% off salary compensation without having to state this closes the 1920 compensation. In fact, the bargaining unit with the MOU has left the compensation issue open in case there are other unknown funding sources. Why were OETA members denied the one time 1.6% because OETA would not state this closes the 2019-20 compensation? This shows extreme disrespect and inequity towards OETA. This was sent to us by 28 people. Um, I believe most of them, if not all of them, are teachers, and I'm going to read you their names. Shelley Stewart, Laura Philbeck, Kimberly Teets, Jill Lowe, Lisa Huru, Rhonda Barton, Roxanne Garcia, Kara Flores, Rochelle Linden, Kristen Wilson, Kate Will, Deborah Corwin, Kate Caspers, Adrienne Cohen, Brianne Stanley, Deborah Alagada, I think that's how you pronounce her last name, uh, Tara West, Courtney Eggy, Carla Johnson, Deborah Williams, David Henderson, Caitlin Brown, Shauna Hutzel, Elisa Nutt, Loretta Willman, Shang Yang, Amy Nelms, and Francis Allred. And I think Spencer has the rest, and if more come in, I'll let you know. Thank you, Art. Okay, I have a, another one. Can everybody hear me? Yes. Okay. Yes. This uh, comes from Shauna Butler. Um, it reads, please read before, before closed session. Good evening, my name is Shauna Butler and I'm a community member teacher at Ishi Hills Middle School and the Oroville Elementary Teachers Association Vice President. And I would like to address three items as you go into the closed session. The teachers in our district are all working tireless to, tirelessly to provide an exceptional distance learning program that meets the needs of all students. The district administration has stated, the district's expectation, regardless if teachers are working from home or from school, excuse me, working from school or from home, is to provide an enhanced second to none distance learning model that addresses the needs of all students. I am confident that the Oroville elementary teachers are all working to provide this enhanced second to none distance learning model to students. To date, the district administration is not making themselves available to meet with OETA negotiation team to discuss the parameters of distance learning until mid-September. The district administration continues to make changes to the normal working conditions that have not been bargained by both parties, which is a violation of the law. OETA negotiating team is available to start meeting in the afternoons. 
please direct Principal Holtam to make himself and team available in order to continue the implementation of the enhanced second to none distance learning model. Two, OETA has noticed that all district personnel listed under agenda, agenda item seven are receiving a one time 1.6 off salary compensation without having to state this closes the 2019-20 compensation. In fact, the bargaining unit with the MOU has left the compensation issue open in case there are other unknown funding sources. When this option of a one-time 1.6 was offered at the negotiating table, the district stated it was accepted by OET. It, if accepted by OETA, it would close the 1920-2020 compensation issue statement. This is unfair and inequitable to OETA members. I would like to I would like the board to ask district administration why OETA members were denied the one time 1.6. OETA is appreciative that the district reinstated our unit member that was on paid admin leave. However, we are requesting the district to provide a letter to the unit member exonerating him and placing him in good standing once again. Shauna Butler, seventh grade teacher, Ishi Hills Middle School. Um, and I am reading another one. Please read before closed session. Okay, that was, I think that was the one Andrew read to you. Um, Andrew, were there any other that were for the closed session? Um, I don't believe so. I think I, I sent you all the ones that weren't identical. I, I think, um, Let me look through them too, hold on. Yeah, because we, we have, a, the reason we have a number of um, emails and we just want to make sure that we can differentiate between before closed session and ones that are going to be read during open session. I think we've addressed the ones that said, please read before closed session. If we did not read it before closed session and we were supposed to, um, they will be read during um, community comments. Do you see any uh, other ones? Andrew? Yeah, Shelby Vance. Do you want me to read that one? Yeah, I, I, I have it actually. Okay, go ahead. Um, it says, uh, Shelby Vance, please read before closed session. In looking over the MOU for bargaining units and the 1.6 one time off the salary schedule raise, it seems there is a double standard. In the CFIRE process, OETA was told that if we accepted the 1.6 one-time off salary schedule, that would close current compensation talks. To have in the current MOU a statement that says that if another bargaining unit OETA finds additional resources, then the other bargaining units would be open to further negotiations. All this does is open Pandora's box to a host of problems. OETA has not currently settled through the CFIRE process and I do not believe these current MOUs in tonight's board agenda can be said to be bargaining in good faith with all OCESD bargaining units. Shelby Vance, second grade teacher, Stanford School. Uh, the next one would be Muna Calarco. Muna Calarco, dear board members, please read before closed session. I have taught in our district for 24 years. Never has a teacher's morale been lower. We not only feel underappreciated, but we feel like we are being cheated out of what is rightfully ours. These are things that are being given automatically to others. It used to be that we receive our COLA as part of the state annual education bu budget. We had language in our contract that assured this, but now we are forced to fight for something that we should that should be automatic and made us feel like we are greedy for advocating for our rights. A cost of living adjustment is something we should not have to fight for. It has been budgeted for by the state 
Why are we being made to fight for this? I've noticed that all district personnel listed under agenda seven are receiving, are receiving the one time 1.6 off salary compensation without having to state this closes the 2019-20 compensation. In fact, the bargaining unit with the MOU has left the compensation issue open in case there are other unknown funding sources. Why were OETA members denied the one time 1.6 because OETA would not state this closes the 2019-20 compensation. This shows extreme disrespect and inequality, inequality towards OETA. Ms. Calarco, second grade teacher, Stanford Avenue. And yeah, there's a few more um, and you'll wanna, um, Spencer, you'll see that what the, the same paragraph is you're reading over and over. The um, next one is Lori Maturino. Okay, uh, Lori Maturino. Um, and because, uh, well, I'll just read the whole thing. Please read below before closed session. I have noticed that all district personnel listed under agenda item seven are receiving the one time 1.6 off salary compensation without having to state this closes the 2019 20 compensation. In fact, the bargaining unit with the o MOU has left the compensation issue open in case there are other unknown funding sources. Why were OETA members denied the one time 1.6 because OETA would not state this closes the 2019-20 compensation. This shows extreme disrespect and inequality towards OETA. This is my 21st year in the Oroville Elementary School District. I can tell you I've never felt this level of disrespect from administration and board. Most of us work through our summer vacation because we had a very good idea of what was going to be happening with education with regards to educating our students through distance learning. We met with other teachers, we planned, we prioritized, and we worked hard because we love teaching and our students. To have to deal with this unfairness and disparity is so frustrating, upsetting, and disappointing. I thought we were all in this together for our students. Sincerely, Lori Maturino, Ofer School, fifth grade teacher. Okay, uh, Ann Campbell. Please read before closed session for CSEA. I've noticed that all our district personnel listed under agenda item seven are receiving the one time 1.6 off salary, off salary compensation without having to state this closes the 2019-20 compensation. In fact, the bargaining unit with the MOU has left the compensation issue open in case there are other unknown funding sources. Why were OETA members denied the one time 1.6 because OETA would not state this closes the 2019-20 compensation. This shows extreme inequality towards OETA and appears as a double standard. Perhaps this was not intentional, but appears to be a glaring difference. Ann Campbell, speech language pathologist, speech language pathologist, Oroville City Elementary School District. Um. Elizabeth Parmentier. Dear board members and superintendents, please read be before closed session. I have noticed that all district personnel listed under agenda item seven are receiving the one time 1.6 off salary schedule compensation without having to state this closes the 2019-20 compensation. In fact, the bargaining unit with the MOU has left the compensation issue open in case there are other unknown funding sources. Why were OETA members denied the one time 1.6 because OETA would not state this closes the 2019-20 compensation. This shows extreme disrespect and inequality towards OETA. Our issue statement for the 20, for the 2019-2020 compensation referred to our current contract language we'd like to work together to create a comparable formula. Beth Parmentier, Oakdale Heights. The next one is Jennifer McGowan. Please read before closed session. Admittedly, I don't make it to many board meetings. 
and that's in part because I've always had faith in the process and the sense of worth I felt in the district. Under agenda item seven, the one-time 1 1.6 off salary compensation that has been offered to the other bargaining members without, dis without closure is concerning to me because OETA was told if we accepted the one-time 1 1.6 that would close compensation talks. In former years, the CFIRE process has always worked and I was proud to say, I work in a district that respects their teachers and staff, but it seems that has changed. Why were OETA members denied the one time 1.6 because OETA would not state this closes the 2019-2020 compensation, yet this doesn't hold true for the other bargaining members. This decision is unfair and does not make sense. These talks have been going on since 2018. In the past, we agreed to wait until the district had more funding. We have nearly four and a half million in reserves, which equates to nearly 20% when the state requires 3%. And even at the school board association suggestion of 12%, we are well beyond either of those figures. It's time to show that you value teachers too, especially in these difficult times of distance learning and all that entails. Teachers are the heart of the school and take pride in their connection with the children and their families. Please do the same for us. Jennifer McGowan, first grade teacher. Uh, Jessica North. Please read before closed session. I have noticed that all district personnel listed under agenda seven, item seven are receiving the one time 1 1.6 off salary compensation without having to state this closes to 2019-20 compensation. In fact, the bargaining unit with the MOU has left the compensation issue open in case there are other unknown funding sources. Why were OETA members denied the one time 1 1.6 because OETA would not state this closes the 2019-20 2020 compensation. This shows extreme disrespect and inequality towards OETA. A dangerous pattern has been forming over the past couple of years and the total disconnect between the district and their teachers is growing daily. I'm so disappointed to see all the hard work of our former district leaders to keep things fair and civil, shrivel under the new hierarchy. We used to be admired for how dip diplomatic our CFIRE process was. Our new leaders have now made it an embarrassment. Jessica North. Um, the last one before closed session um, right now is Faru Molina. Okay. Dear board members, these are our unprecedented times. These are times of struggle, floods, dams, fires, COVID, more COVID, economic stresses, family stresses, now the extreme heat and more fires. I won't try to imagine all the things you're juggling as you read this email, but you were put on the board because someone trusted you to do what's right for the children of OCESD, for the families of OCSD, for the stakeholder, stakeholders of OCESD. Ask Dr. Holtum, ask anyone who studies this stuff, teachers are the most important piece in a child's life at school. So you are entrusted to do what you think is best for the teachers and other staff who are on the front lines with those children. For years, we have had board members who recognize the teaching, teaching staff for their our hard work in our district office followed suit and teachers were compensated for their above and beyond hours. I would love to post small thumbnail size pictures here of all the children who have been recipients of the many, many teacher hours who worked above and beyond over the years. But as I do, I do simple math, a small square of this size would take up too much space. Just know, just ask, just know, just ask parents, teachers in the district are here because we, we care because we wanna help the children of this area. For many of us, we are now helping grandchildren of children we helped. Quite honestly, it's a delight. I implore you to speak, to please ask around. Don't just ask in the district office or teachers, ask parents of children who have high needs. Ask parents of children who want more in the, for their children, art, music, sports, gate, special education. The teachers who have taught these things and more put in so many, many hours over what they were paid to do. Why? Because we love our job. This is the best job a person could have. Think of all those art shows, the band performances, the school-wide musicals, the Olympic days and bike rodeo days and read math and jumpathon days. Think of all the Read Across America days and late evening harvest festivals, those Christmas and winter performances, early breakfast, donuts for dads, muffins for mom days. 
Think of the gardens that were created by teachers and how they brought community members into our school. Think of all those games after school where there were teachers there in the stands cheering for their students. Think of all those teachers who teach music and instruments to children at school because it's good for kids. And those amazing graduation ceremonies with all the traditional songs created by a teacher at Harrison Stadium and the honor nights at the State Theater downtown and all those field trips. Field trips to Washington DC, to Shasta Caverns, to rice fields. Field trips that start hours before school and, and, and hours after. Field trips to places here in Oroville. Field trips to Chico State to introduce children to the university, not to mention those teachers who bring field trips to us, like the salmon in the classroom projects, the recycling and uh, reuse programs, which save our district money. And oh, think of those teachers who do so much with technology, hours and hours above and beyond work, much done outside regular work hours. You know, I have only gotten started. These things make fun, make school fun. They help students learn. They connect students to the community members and build our community. I've taken more time than I thought I was, but I need to ensure you know what's going on. When we, the teachers of, the, of this district, are doing our job, this amazing work with children, and we are not given the respect, it's easy to ignore once or even twice as teachers are busy helping students. And these teachers who ignore, ignored the disrespect, they, we, I, assume it was because of a miscommunication or misunderstanding. So please hear, hear us, ask the district to, to get clarification for us, for me. We OETA voted to not accept a one-time 1 1.6 off salary compensation because if we agree to this, we would also have to accept that we could lose the 2019-2020 compensation discussion. I recently heard a number of people in our district claim they do not know that the district added this, this clause. It's painful. The last thing OTA needs is divide, to divide our members. We all work together here. I, along with many others, have noticed that under agenda item number seven, all district employees listed are receiving the one-time 1 1.6 off salary compensation without having to state this closes the 1920 compensation. I heard that the bargaining units have left the compensation issue open in the MOU in case there are other unknown funding sources. I certainly hope any CSEM member and other staff get raises from some unknown funding sources that pop up. But to do this for all staff and not teachers, I'm not sure what is going on here. I don't see how that builds community. I should all, we should all have that opportunity to revisit our compensation, which for OET members has not been fully addressed since 2018. Can you please answer me if this is the case, why were OET members denied the one time 1.6? 1 1.6 .6 because OETA would not state this closes the 2019-20 compensation if other staff were. If there is something else going on here, please let us know. As it stands, we all can see what it looks like. I can see what it looks like. Can you? I hope you see many teachers feel this extreme disrespect and inequality towards OETA. Going forward, perhaps you can ask the question and don't judge a whole group OETA based on something you heard or know to be true about an individual. If so, we can make the same, same statement about some who are in other positions, but this would be out of character for teachers. We like to solve problems, not create them. As always, looking forward for Umo in a third grade teacher, Stanford Avenue. Thank you, Mike. I think that's all we have right now. We have a few more. I think we have four more after um, that were did not say that they were supposed to be before closed session uh, okay. for the, the regular meeting. Okay. All right, if there's no further comment, I'd like to recess into closed session at 4.43 p.m. <laughs>